Hi guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and in this video, I want to show you how do I figure out with my little poker game that I actually have a pair. So, I mean, what I've made is a little poker game where you click play and you generate some random cards. You can, you know, swap the cards out, and oh, we almost got a flush there. And what we want to check out is how do we make sure that you know how do I know if I got the pair? You know, what is the logic behind that? And funnily enough, this actually took, this was a little bit difficult, but I'm going to show you what, what I did. So first thing I did is I have this thing where we check to see what the cards are. I first check to see if we have a straight flush, a flush, um, or a straight before checking these up. Because you can't have a flush and, um, you know, two of a kind because the cards can't duplicate. I have made videos on that, so go check those out if you want to see how I made the straight flush and how I generate the random cards. But in this video, I want to talk you through how I can figure out the pairs. And what I've done is I said, if I get one pair, it's a one pair. If I get, if pair equals two, it's a two pair. If I get pair equals three, it's three of a kind. If pair equals four, it's full house. And if I get pair six, it's four of a kind. So what do we mean by this pair value? So what I did, was I took the bubble sort method, okay? That was like my little inspiration that sorts um, cards and I used that to check to see if the cards are the same. So now look, I, I can probably put this into a four, you know, I could have a for loop within a for loop like you have it with the bubble sort, but it's much easier to explain it as four individual for loops. So think of it, think of having five cards in front of you. What I do is I call this method and it says, okay, we're going to take the first card and we're going to run it through a for loop where we're going to check it against the four remaining cards. If the array, if, if the two cards match, our pair variable will increase by one. So if there are just two cards in the deck that match, then our pair value is going to increase by one. Well, let's, let's go through it slowly. So I've got five cards. The first card goes and it checks. Hold on, let me actually bring this here. So the first card over here will go and look at these other four. So five, not the same as ace, not the same as ace, not the same as two, not the same as four. So pair would actually stay zero here. But then we come to the second for loop where we now look at the second card and we're just gonna be checking it to these three cards. No need for me to check it with the five because that's already been done in the previous one. Here the ace does match with the ace. So we are gonna say, pair plus one, but ace is not going to be equal to two, and it's not going to be equal to four. So then we move on, then this value here checks with this, doesn't, doesn't, okay, move on, doesn't, doesn't. At the end of the day, pair is equal to one, and what we have is a one pair. Now look, unfortunately in poker, it is very rare to get, um, you know, like a two pair or um, you know, three of a kind, or four of a kind, or a full house. You know, so if I had to try and simulate that, that would be forever. But let's see if I can get something. Hold on. Let's see if we can get just something a little bit better for the illustration. But okay, we can't. Okay, we're not being lucky. But if it was a two pair, so let's pretend these two cards are the same. Then the queen would be like, no, 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 yes, pair plus one. And then this card would be like. Yes, pair plus two, no, no, and then this one will be like, no, no, and then we've got pair is equal to two, and let's pretend that those cards are the same, we have a two pair. If what you call it, we have, if our pair goes to the value of three, it means we have three of a kind. If we have four, it means we have a full house, and if we have four of a kind, it means the pair is equal to six. So let's actually see if we can just get, oh, whoa, 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 we got three of a kind, fantastic. Hold on, let's just see if we can improve it. No, we can't improve it. But you can see, so this card, nothing, 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 nothing. This card goes nothing, yes, pair plus one, pair plus one, so now pair is equal to two. This comes to this card, nothing, nothing, and then we come here, pair over here, plus one again, so we have pair three in total, three of a kind. And then if it's a full house, it will count four times, and if it's four of a kind, it will count six times. So this is the code to check if you got one pair, two pair, three of a kind, full house, four of a kind result. And what I've basically done is I've created something called the bubble match, which has got taken its inspiration from the bubble sort method. 
and it's basically it's four four loops so you basically could have a four loop within a four loop um, and then it goes through and it checks each card against the other card and it says if this card is the same then ta-da we can increase it and you can see this value here is increasing so we could very well have put this into a for loop so a for loop within a for loop look this was probably one of the hardest things that I did do from a logical perspective for the app so how I got through this and maybe what you want to do is yourself is actually take out a set of cards and put five cards on the table and do this actually manually um, before writing the code just to help you know get your mind into gear but there we go that is the code for Android Studio on how to check if you got those results in poker. This app is available on the App Store, so I will put a link in the description below and you can go and play around with it and hopefully try your luck. Thanks guys so much for watching and hit subscribe. There are a lot more poker videos, so be sure to check them out. Cheers.